What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W, and today we're going to tackle question 33 in the seventh grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that circle M, so we name a circle by naming its center, has a radius of 7.0 centimeters, so exactly 7 centimeters, and the shortest distance between P and Q on the circle, so this distance right here that kind of carves out a pie crust, is seven and three tenths centimeters, or 7.3 centimeters. We're trying to figure out the area of this shaded portion here that goes out to the same two points, P and Q, that make this little, the, the, this little line segment, also known as a chord, if you don't know that already. So in order to do a question like this, this is gonna test us on the area and circumference of circles, and we'll also have to use some proportions to solve this. So first, area and circumference of circle. Unfortunately, we'll need both of these for this problem. Our area is gonna be pi times our radius squared. And unlike another question, this one actually gave us our radius to start with. So I know that everywhere I see radius, I'm gonna plug in seven. And then my circumference is gonna be two times pi times my radius, also known as pi times my diameter. But since the diameter is two times the radius, uh, this formula is equivalent to the other one. There are two ways of saying the same thing. So let's go ahead and figure out what my area and my circumference would be. For my area, I'm going to plug 7 in for my radius, and I'm going to say that pi times 7 squared is equal to 49 times pi, which would get me, and I'll pull out my calculator and say that 49 times pi equals about 154. Since this is asking for the approximate area, I'm comfortable with just saying that that's about 154. I find it much easier to work with numbers with fewer decimal places. But I can't take off too many digits because then I don't know that I'll get the right answer. I could mix it up with another answer choice. But now to try to find my circumference, I'm looking for 2 times pi times my radius. Once again, my radius is 7. So this is 2 times pi times 7. And that is going to get me 2 times pi times 7, which is almost exactly 44. So that's 44. At this point, I can actually go ahead and knock out choice A and choice B because they are both numbers that I get on my way to solving this, but I haven't actually gotten there yet. And so I know with, with essentially no doubt that my answer is not gonna be 153.9, it's not gonna be 44.0. So let's go ahead and actually figure out this area. And to do this, I'm actually gonna have to pull out a number table or pull out a proportion, however you wanna think of it. Um, but I'm going to set it up as a, number, as a number table because I'm actually going to give names to the columns and the rows here. I'm going to call first row area, second row circumference, and up here my columns I'm going to call part and whole. Now this is just a one word way to say that if I'm looking at my area, my part of that circle in terms of area is this shaded portion, which I don't know, but then the whole area I found over here, that's 154. And then for my circumference, my part, the only number it gives me for my part is the 7.3 centimeters, so I'm gonna plug that in, or seven and three tenths of a centimeter, and now my whole circumference is 44. So the idea is that 7.3 represents the same portion, the same percentage, the same fraction, however you want to think of it, of 44, as, this, as the area of this thing represents of 154. So let's go ahead and use cross-multiplying to figure that out. Cross-multiply here and here, and I'm going to have to come up here to do this work. And I say that 7 and 3 tenths times 154 equals 44 times this number that I don't know yet. I use my calculator to say that 7 and 3 tenths times 154 is 1,124.2. So 1,124.2 
equals 44 times some number that I don't know yet. And now, whether I use fact families or principles of equations, I should get that 1,124.2 divided by 44 is going to give me my answer. And so I do 1,124 and 2 tenths, divide that by 44, and it gets me 25 and 55 hundredths. Now, which of our two remaining answer choices is 25 and 55 hundredths closest to? 25 and 6 tenths. So thank goodness we are done with that problem. After all that work, we got an answer of C, 25 and 6 tenths centimeters.